Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Infiltration. So last episode we picked up a couple of atlases. You can see here in the top uh, right that they're still under repairs. Now one of them, actually if we go to the mech bay real quick, what I did was uh, for the Atlas 2C, um, if we go to storage and we look at the mechs we have here, right now we've only got the Ryokin and the Archer left. I sold everything else. We had four was it four or three? I think we had three uh, Grand Summoners. We had the Orion in there. I sold all those. Made close to like eight mil. Um, and then uh, we went through our financial report, which was like 2.75 million. And then I put a Clan XL engine in the Atlas 2C. So that was four and a half million. Uh, and then I increased the armor and everything on this guy. Um, so uh, yeah, so both of these guys, once they're repaired, all we have to do is load it, load them out, and we're ready to go. Um, now the second Atlas does not have an XL engine in it, unfortunately, so that may take a while to get up and running. But currently it is repairing with max armor, so that's kind of good. And of course the 2C uh, will have an XL engine in it. It's got I think uh, 59 tons of free space. So if you guys can think of something you know feel free to let me know what you think we should load it out I'm wondering if we should shift the current build from the Atlas we have now into that one um, or I don't know we'll figure something out um, or we could go an ultra we can go an ultra autocannon build or a rack 2 build or something along that line but that's the thought anyway alright so let's go to the command center we're gonna jump straight into a mission We've got our mechs back and we're gonna do uh, over the next two episodes, depending on how it goes, we're going to do Reconquest and then we're going to do Pride and Vanity before we jump off this planet. So we're going to do Recon Reconquest today. It is a destroy base mission, which should be relatively straightforward against pirates. We'll be maxing out our uh, rep with Clan Wolf, which is awesome. We'll be doing the same thing with Jade Falcon. So we're going to accept this. And we're going to run uh, their two lances again. Uh, Gundal, we got Mastodon back. Uh, we almost lost him. We had a... Uh, uh, an, um, uh, what do you call it? A random event that happened that uh, um, he his wounds were uh, more than um, what we expected. So he actually ended up getting three more injuries. Uh, we paid uh, we, we lost a hundred thousand to make sure that uh, he didn't die. But um, yeah, we almost lost him last episode. Uh, be well, between episodes that is. So bringing the Zeus, the Atlas. And we noticed the timber wolf wasn't working out really. I want to bring the archer and we need to bring this guy. I'm going to bring the archer this time because I think we need the long range firepower if we're going to be doing destroy base. So we're going to grab that and um, let's deploy and get this done. Alright, here we go. Alright, we're in the corner here, which is nice. And there's the base. Doesn't give us much room to maneuver over here. Looks like we got some half decent cover though. What's this? Smoke. Oh, there's something sitting over here. Okay. Additional forces away from the base. So most likely they we're gonna be facing 20 guys again. They got four support lances. Well, a garrison and three support lances. Um, this is not the best map for this. So there's most likely somebody here. A couple guys over here, but the rest of them are probably in here. And we got a narrow approach. Now, we're probably going to have turrets too, so we need to be wary of that. We're going to spread out. Some guys are going to go over here, and we'll put some of our guys in here. I think that's kind of how we'll run this. Uh, first things first though, move forward and get in the trees. I think that's our goal for this particular movement phase. Uh, you're the LRM-70 boat. Let's just put you up here for now. It's going to cause a havoc for AMS, but we'll do what we can. You definitely need to be closer. So let's get you up to here. I'll be there before you know it. Well, I know it. And you're not there yet. Oh, yeah, you are. Never mind. Take it back. All right. Now, infiltrator. 
Um, I wonder if we run I'm going to take you on this side. And then we'll move. Workhorse, looks like you're going to have to jump off of there. Well, we added some half-decent jump jets. Let's get into here. Uh, that'll put... here. I want to make sure most of the guys are going to be inside the... Uh, Overloaded AMS range. Receiving you. Arrow boy. Let's back up a bit. Move order received. And we're going to drop a couple rounds. Just the standard rounds right in here. I don't know how many guys are standing here. Probably not that many, but I'm going to confirm that. We're not going to leave until everybody on this map is dead. Morning. Get you over this way. We may, we may rotate. I may just go goofy and infiltrate it this way, and then put the three one hundred tonners up this way. I don't know yet. We got to be careful. Okay, you can get in the trees too. Let's do that. I know we're bunching up there, but we're under AMS, so we should be okay. Twenty three, huh? You do where? Ooh, what do we got here? Quick draw. Okay. Okay. Um. Want to go to work on the buildings? There's probably still guys over here, so I'm going to drop two more into here. Got to move a little bit. Let's back up. What do we got? We got another blip. Oh, we got another guy here. Another quick draw. She is a Matar. What the hell is that? Hundred bucks says that this is a uh, heavy Gauss rifle. That's a pretty damn big mech. Ghost. King crab. Is this guy over here? Well, there's one of the turrets. Yeah, Kaiju. Okay. Yes, I wonder if we just reserve. Oh, we got a direct line of sight on this guy. 60%. Well, let's not look a gift horse in the mouth. A lot of twos, but that's fine. We're going to move over here. Get out of his direct fire. I don't know what he's got on him, but I don't want him shooting straight at me if I can avoid it. Okay, so we're going to get the Atlas and the Infiltrator on this guy. He looks pretty threatening, i got to say. Uh, I think you need to reserve Hollander 2. Well, we can't be cresting that hill. Thumper. Okay. Yeah. Damage is minor, Commander. We need to crest with more than one person at a time or else we're just going to get shot up. Uh, so let's see, we got Duke, Goofy, Dun Gundal, Workhorse, and Dallas, and Infiltrator, and Hellion left. Wait, the Workhorse going? No, Workhorse hasn't gone yet. Gotta decide whether I'm gonna go with Infernos right off the bat or what or what we're gonna do here. Cascatel, okay. I think we'll hold off, well maybe not hold off on the Infernos, I don't know. Maybe on the I I don't know, maybe on the Kaiju I was thinking.
trying to figure out what he's going to do. Come on, buddy. I didn't think you could sensor lock and fire. Yeah, thanks for showing up. Thanks for showing up. Uh, let's reserve Goofy. I hope we got the ability to see this guy. Because around in this corner and not firing would be bad. Okay, another Artie. Ah, oh, you hit your own guys. Beautiful. Alright, um... Ooh, what's this guy down here? Orion? Thumper? Twenty-five, huh? Uh, let's see here. Anything better than twenty-five percent? Thirty-four in the turret. I don't think we're going to get any better than that. Twenty-eight in the king crab. Yeah, let's just drop some of the... well... Yeah. Might as well get a start on him. Okay, that keeps everybody in range. Alright. Once again, this is one of those tricky maps because you got we've only got narrow lanes to go in, and if we move up there, if they decide to focus fire, we're screwed, right? We got to avoid all that as much as we can. We got to start putting some damage down hard. So we're gonna do, gonna get these three guys to crest this hill, fire, then fire and move back again. We'll do the same thing over here. Infiltrator and the Atlas are going to move. LRM Carrier. Yeah. Meh. Okay, we got a good line of sight on that guy. Oof, terrible chances to hit. But we're going to go all the way up. Let's Warlord this. Do what we can on him. And firing. That's a lot of armor. Armor level didn't even drop. Alright. At least it's not so overwhelming with uh, overwhelmed with uh, 95 ton heavy carrier. Well, that guy's got to die. Okay, back here. Maybe if we make this guy unstable, he won't shoot back. Really great chances to hit. I'm just going to shoot on him. We did hit this guy. Oh, we did hit him. a little bit of leg damage. Legs, most mostly. A little bit in the arm. We'll fire everything. Oh, yeah, man. Hit with everything, I think. Alright, we need to be on that heavy carrier. Yeah. Their turrets haven't gone yet, either. So let's take care of some of the turrets if we can. All right, here we go. What do we got back here? Heavy turret. Hardened Calliope. Well, 
Oof, really? Now, is there guys around there? So if we hit with the barrage... Now, is he on a building? He's on a building. Two hundred hit points on the building. Let's do this. And then this guy. So A will take the rotary and B will take the streak. And then we'll put C. Um, here? There's another kaiju over here. Um, they got two aircraft. Where is the uh, thing for the aircraft? Actually, you know what? Let's put this on. C will be the barrage. Let's do it this way. That should get the turret some damage on the kaiju and damage the vehicle. Enemy structure Enemy structure so that should kill the turret? No, the turret chassis is not contingent on that. Ooh, nice shot though. That tag was good. So the turret is on its own platform, not in the building, unfortunately. All right, well, not much we can do about that. Was hoping to get that turret, but didn't work out. Still got two more guys over here. Commander? Dallas. Confirmed. Let's see if you can claim that turret. It's still got a fire, so... If we can get rid of it before that, that's going to be good. Let's warlord this. Front load the damage, see if we can wipe it out. That turret is gone. One less turret. Beautiful, thank you. Alright, now it's just Goofy. And I think we're going to try and claim this guy right here, the Thumper. And then when we before we move, we're going to try and claim the self-propelled artillery. So Thumper, destroy him, then go after the SP artillery, and then move out of the move out of positioning. Move out of where we are. Um, oh god, that just seems like a, such a bad idea. Because if he doesn't go before the other guys... Eight hundred and something, eh? How much does this guy have? Eight hundred and something. Oh, this is bugging me. Let's go here. I'm just worried the number of guys that have a direct line of sight on them. If there's too many, they're going to kill them, right? That's way out of range. Standard ammo, but that won't be enough to pull that turret down. Um, it's the same with this one, right? Yeah. I don't think we have anything in range for HE, except for buildings. Well, this guy looks like he's probably more dangerous than anything. Um, let's do this. Hit it with everything. Okay, nice. Yeah. So that was probably the Calliope turret. Showing minor damage. That's a back turret. I think we're probably into a new phase now. 
hardened ferrofibrous. Is that the quick draw? Yep. This guy's hardened ferrofibrous repaired armor. Well, we're gonna have to keep hammering him. All right. Thumper. Let's go on this guy. Ooh. Let's just shoot everything. Come on, come on, come on. Thumper, okay, direct. Thumper is destroyed. Beautiful. Let's move over here. Get a bit of stability back. Stand beside Monsieur AMS. Hmm. This guy's lost stability. I wonder if we can knock his ass down. So far I'm not seeing anything that's 100% scary. These two king crabs are yeah, and this guy over here, yeah. But other than that, we're not too bad off right now. Waiting for orders. Let's drop this right here. We're dropping Inferno because I want to keep that uh, Kaiju from shooting. Well, there goes a vehicle and an aircraft. You might as well just brace right there. No point in moving. Hollander. Okay, she goes on 21. Wonder if we should return the favor with a full face of rack. Or if we should go after something like this. Yeah. Oh, our rack's down anyway. Well, that figures. Don't have a direct, direct line of sight on much here. King Crab's taking a fair, fair bit of side damage. Let's continue that. Gonna leave the Warlord off for now. Let's fire it. I think you did too. Back it up. Let's not give him a direct line of sight. Uh, where are you? Right here. Let's put you in the trees. Primary AMS is still up. Let's switch these over to Hydra. And let's go after... Um, King Crab. I really want to know what the hell's up with these Hydra ammo. Because that seems like cheating to me. There's something up with this Hydra ammo. I mean, we may have gotten lucky and hit ammo, but it seems to be happening quite frequently. So I don't know. Oh, Muller. Okay, so we got two, four, what, Infiltrator Dallas. Goofy still got to go. Gundal. That's four of us left. All right. All right, Goofy, let's use your missiles par excellence.
56, huh? Let's go this route. Okay, not bad. Let's get back over here. Yeah, I got a lot of hits, man, even though all that... Well, our AMS is not up to full snuff right now. Yeah. What can I do you for? All right, let's hammer this guy again. You're stressing him out a little bit. Let's just move over here. Now. Super high chances to hit. Let's see if we can pen this torso. He's got heavy, two heavy wrist PPCs, two lights, and a spinal mount. Heavy gas rifle. Engaging target. See ya. Enemy mech destroyed. That is what you call teamwork, my friends. Get out of direct line of sight. We'll move forward in a second. Okay, our flank is pretty much cleared on that side. Uh, what do we got over here? We've got Hollander, Cascatel. Let's get rid of the aircraft. He's still going. He's still going. Holy shit. Yeah, he might as well hit three different locations. What the hell? Oof. Not bad. That was that heavy carrier. King Crab's making a break for it. I don't blame them, though. They've lost two 100-ton mechs in, le in less than three rounds, so... These guys are bunching up right there. Time to be a hero, buddy. These guys are bunching up right here. Vehicle gone. Cascatel's still running though. What the hell? Alright, now your Hydra ammo, in theory, should spread over to the guys beside you. Or beside this guy. No? Yeah? Yeah. I think we got the Cascatel. Don't see him there, but it doesn't mean he's dead. I'm going to have to start bidding on these matches now, because, like, our loadouts are getting to the point where it's going to be, uh, if we're not fighting the clans, it's going to be uh, unfair matches. Not go too far forward. It's a lot of bleeps, sweeps, and creeps. That's a quick draw. This guy's making a break for it. Hollander. You could just kill the Hollander. Uh, yeah. Did not expect to kill him, but there we go. Okay. Masty. Let's get on this guy. Firing.
move it up into here. Hopefully Goofy can clean that up and then maybe uh, Dallas can clean up the heavy carrier here. We've got two mechs out of position on the right side now that this guy's gone. I don't think we're going to get a shot this turn. We might we might be able to take out the Calliope turret, but we'll have to see how it goes at full sprint. How might I help? Yeah. He's going down. Let's hope. Not quite. No point in moving up. Yeah, I mean, we could turn all the heavy mechs into fire support only. So ranged fire support. And then the rest, like all the assaults, will just be like hammers, direct fire hammers. That's kind of what they are now. How's that heat make, working on you there? You enjoying it? Mm -hmm. Alright, let's see how far up here we can get. Oh, we can get a shot on somebody. We can take the medium building out. Hardened Calliope turret. It's a lot of armor. We might be able to claim this guy, but I think we're going to go against this turret. Let's apply a lot of damage to it. There goes its armor. We'll, f we'll follow up with the uh, Atlas and finish it off. They don't like you. No, no, we got some shooting right here, buddy. Full rack, please. Still going. Inflicted some heavy damage. You did. Okay, this is going to be a split fire. Going to go this route. Firing. Firing. Oh, that wasn't enough to kill it. Uh, two misses. Wow. That's a miss. That was a fail. Sorry about that. That's my bad. I don't know. It makes me wonder. I mean, we're not really getting full advantage out of our multi-targets. I mean, there's those rare occasions where we can clean up a couple guys. But for the most part, it's not really working. We could have a couple of guys at the back, like indirect fire guys could have multi-target. And our direct fire guys could just be all single target. Because I think the guys up front having that minus 50% critical hit is uh, really, really advantageous. Okay. Phase 25. None of us. Hellion's going on 23. Maybe can she can shred this mauler here. Where is it? Here it is. That's a quick draw. Orion. Right here. Mm -hmm. Oh, we got a jam. Let's just fire on this guy. Let's hope for the kill. We might get it. There you go. That's a joke. Sure is. Just back up. Back it up. Mm -hmm. 
She's all right. She's got Warlord coming up, so. Who's next? Mastodon? Let's multi this one. Let's go, um... Let's go A and B. A will take a 15 and B will take the rest. And we're gonna fire. Okay, beautiful. You don't need to move. We're gonna tie up this mauler again with a couple of more uh, incendiary arrows. Nice. I want to apologize if I'm less chatty today. Got a bit of a st stomach problem right now. Stomach is really sore. Uh, let's, um, I don't know, you don't need to stay here. Let's get up into here. We're okay now. Let's get right on this guy. Dead fire tag, everything. Let's blast him. He's got like no armor. Beautiful. Alright, let's see what we want here. Probably, uh, well, backside of a quick draw. Let's see if we can remove this guy. Yeah, spread it around. Hopefully Infiltrator will go before that guy. We can finish him up. As far as salvage goes, I think I'm going to take this thing if it's got a lot of pieces left. Assemble it, sell it. We need to get, we need sea bills really badly. Actually, can we get a cheap shot on that guy? No, we can't. Uh, ooh. That's terrible. That's the king crab. Still, is that the same? No, it's a different one. That's the quick draw. Mauler. Let's OP the Mauler. Uh, torso? Probably? Wow, three misses. No love on that strike. Yeah, no kidding. Let's make sure this guy doesn't shoot. Wow, we got the other guy. Then we got the Hollander. Or the Quick Draw, I mean. Well, you know, I, I hate doing back attacks. But these guys are so terrified of us that... Uh, We might as well. That's the ghost. Now let's do um Come on. Let's see if we can get this guy. Targeting rear armor. Yep. Well, it's a good thing that turret's not really that big of a threat.
God, this is a steamroll. This is a steamroll. Steamroller. <laughs> Just had a flash of uh, the movie Strange Brew. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of it or seen it. If you're Canadian, you probably know it. Bob and Doug McKenzie. <laughs> Not really Bob and Doug McKenzie. It's uh, Rick Moranis and um, uh, what's his name? Dave Thomas. But uh, they play brothers. Call the McKenzie brothers. Anyway, they're uh, locked up in a uh, mental institution. And they're having an argument, and uh, <laughs> they got their straight jackets on. <laughs> Anyways, they're having a fight. They're both their older brothers, but they're having a fight. And then one guy gives the other guy a steamroller. Steamroller! Steamroller! Oh, see ya. Anyways, they're roll <laughs> rolling around with straight jackets on. Anyways, Commander. it's funny. Trust me. The whole movie's hilarious. Yeah, I don't know if you have to be Canadian to appreciate it. But it sure helps. I'm under heavy fire. Just receiving you. All right, let's learn the turret. Actually, you know what? Let's see if we can finish these two buildings up. Now we don't have to worry about it later. Yeah, don't worry about it. You'll be able to just land here in a second. The Mauler's the only thing left that's got any kind of threat to it. And it can't even do anything because it's overheating. Alright guys, what are you guys doing? Okay, Mastodon, LRM boat. Let's move up. Commander. You are better at direct fire, so uh, let's use that. Affirmative. Give the Mauler a taste of things to come. Here it comes. Do this. Oh, come on. Let the ghost know. Waller. Oh, there it is. Damn it. Here we go. Kill him. <laughs> he just does a face plant. <laughs> He's. Ah, I'm done. Just gonna lie here now, thanks. She's taking a bit of a dirt nap. <laughs> Um, can we get that Anubis? Probably. I understand. You know, it just feels dirty killing the enemy this way, but they did run, and I ain't gonna spend my time worrying about it. It's not like they have a fighting chance at this point, really. Kill confirmed, Commander. Mech destroyed. Yep. They got, what, two left in a turret? He's running now. Not like he can actually do anything. I'm receiving you. Let's just shoot him to make sure we hit. Let's keep pushing. Commander. Uh, the rotary hasn't uh, jammed. Let's go this route. 
Okay, enough for the turret. Beautiful. Good start on that guy. Just keep the height advantage up here. Not much of one of them, but it's a little bit of a height advantage. Twenty-five. Commander. Can you, uh, where's Waldo, this guy? No point in moving at this point. Alright, firing on this guy. Time to clean house. Only one guy to offensive push here. Firing. Uh, let's leave the infernos on, because why not? I'm showing minor damage. What's the plan? Minor damage. Yeah, firing. That hit something. This guy must be like shit in his pants. Ah, Warlord's back. Ah, but the rotary's jammed. Oh well. Still going, huh? We have anybody left? Oh, we got workhorse. Standard ammo. Let's drop it on him. Going down? Solid connection on nope, one. he's not. Commander? All right, let's see if we can drill through this side now. Firing. There you go. There you go. Do we actually have to get to the evac? All right, I'll see you when we're going out, guys. All right, guys, here we are going out. I didn't see any other mechs. So I just, I thought maybe there was another mech kicking around somewhere, but no, we just had to get to the evac zone. Mission successful. All right, contract payment increased by 35%. I, I don't know if that's going to cover our damages, but we'll find out. We did take a little bit of damage, but not much. A lot of AOE and indirect fire, but there's nothing we can do to avoid that now. Uh, Orion parts. We could take two. There's only two Matara parts. Based upon the stone rhino. Okay. Kaiju parts, two. Well, we've got two pieces of a quick draw. We could take this and sell it. Wow, we could take, like, a bunch of these. Let's have a look down here, just in case there's anything good we want. Heavy MRM-10. Heavy risk PPCs. 10 tons. That's a possibility. We've got two of them right now in our Orion. Rack 10 Pirate. We've already got one of these, but we have no ammo, so let's actually go right to the bottom just to see if there's any Rack 10 ammo down here. LRM Hydra. That's a possibility. Railgun ammo. Uh, just so we know it's there. Rack 10 Caseless. Minus 15% damage dealt with this. Um, 20 shots. Adds a flat 14% jam chance. 
Double ammo per bin increases drain, increased jam chance. I don't know. Let's drop that in for now. Rack two doubles. We got three of these, so we don't have to worry about that. Um, let's go for gear. I wonder if we should put another arm mount in. Putting together an atlas, we're probably going to need that. Uh, let's go up. Tracker sensors, we're probably going to need. Let's hold off for now, though. Patchworks would be nice. Gunnery support A and B would be nice. Um, what else? Ooh, double XL engine. Well, we know where that was. That's a good piece of thing, piece of material to sell there. It's like worth what? Uh, four or five, six hundred thousand or so, six hundred and fifty thousand. That's not bad either. Four hundred core. Um. Sorry guys, my stomach's really killing me. I have to stop after this one. Yeah, so I think that's probably LRM-30 Pirate. It's a misfire chance, not a jam chance. So if we're going to go... Let's take stuff I know we need. We need these. Heavy Goss double. We've got plenty of rounds for our Heavy Goss right now. Um, what else are we going to need? Maybe we take the Hydra ammo. It seems to be doing really well for us. So let's do that. We might be able to throw someone on a different mech too. I think spreading it out amongst a couple of mechs is probably a better choice than to load it all into one. That way we, if we have like an LRM-40 like we've got on the Nike Gear AMS and an LRM-70 or an LRM-60 on one of our other mechs that's dropping Hydro, we can just shut somebody down in one turn. I think we go that route. Yeah, I feel pretty happy with that. This is getting us close to being... I mean, we've had that Rack 10 almost since the beginning of the season. These heavy gyros, though, are nice, too. But I think right now... We need this for the Atlas. The Atlas could run a Rack 10. 40 shots with a Rack 10, firing 4 per turn. Um, yeah, that's a possibility. Gives us 10 turns of firing. I can't remember if we've got one ton of, of rack ammo or not, but... Alright, let's just do this. Okay, Anubis part, Muller part, AMS flare, AMS sensors, PPC Donald plus... What are these guys? 45 damage. What's the benefit? No minimum range penalty. Yeah. Well, they're sellable. Oh, we got another Rack 10. At least we have a backup of ours because destroyed. Thumper artillery, we've already got one, but we've got another one now. Ah, patchwork materials. That's all right. A um, couple more slick sweets. We can sell these. We've got four already. Oh, beautiful. Artemis uh, um, LRM ammo. Some more Thunder improved ammo, too. There's a possibility too of like I want to try I want I, I mentioned to uh, Fist of Dorn I think I want to try a, a Thunder loadout again I want to experiment to see what it is he had mentioned that maybe um, the Thunder may have been canceling itself out because it's an LRM 70 I'm wondering if that was par partially what it was so I think I want to load it on one of the um, Timberwolves and try it on another mission that's not really um, um, that vital just to test it out to see if we can if we can figure out what's going on with this so i know it's a 25 mine trigger chance but it's one mine per projectile you figure 70 projectiles right it's one mine damage and you figure 70 projectiles land 
25% of them go off. That's what, um, well, 10% is 70, 14, 17. So they should do 17 damage. But then if you drop more than one, two, if there's two of those, it should do 35 damage. But it was only doing 18. So I wonder if he's right. I wonder if it's, I don't know. That's one thing we have to tr we have to test it out. All right. Well, that's actually not too bad. That's a lot less than I thought it was going to be. So we didn't lose any sea bills off this one. Which is all right. It's always good. <laughs> it's always good when you come back and the repairs don't cost you more than than the uh, the payout. So that's good. Uh, we should be able to get everybody fixed up and be ready to go before. Um, Let's do that. Bring the atlas up to the top before um, the end of the month. And we should, I, I'm going to sell a bunch of stuff that we just got, see what we can do to get our sea bills closer. Now I'm going to go through the uh, the uh, medium and light mech parts too and just sell off a bunch of junk. Stuff I know we'll never use. I'm going to end this episode here though because I got a sore stomach. I, I you know, we, we might have time to do that other mission, but I'm just not going to do it. Wait till the next episode, all right? Um, and then after that mission, we're going to jump planets. We might go to a Jade Falcon controlled world. Doesn't matter now since we're, we can do five skulls for either Falcon or Wolf, which is awesome. So we're going to be jumping back and forth between the two, taking missions for both. All right. So I'm going to end the episode here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.